Oh, what's, what's this on the wall? My family photo. A family photo of parents and their two daughters. Good thing the girl doesn't resemble their father. He looks like a bear. What the hell? And it's messed up, Pavel. On the first day, they robbed us. Two days later, they murdered our girls. What? I shot every one of them, but I don't want to use the gun anymore. It's broken and buried in the backyard. Next part looks shaky. If you are re reading this, don't look for me. I ain't looking for you. You're going crazy. He killed everybody and they killed his daughters. That sucks. We just read a we just looked at a photo of him talking about his daughters in it. And now apparently they're dead. The robbers came and killed them. What is up guys, I'm Brees with and we are here with a new game on the channel called This War of Mine. This game, I've been loving playing This War of Mine. Uh, I got this game free on Epic Game Store. If you guys don't have Epic um, Game Launcher, they give out free games every week. So I suggest you just, you know, install and make an account on Epic Games. And if you play Fortnite, you probably already have it, but free games every week. And this was one of the games I got, and I've been addicted to this game ever since. I played a, a couple of games of this to learn it, and I decided I'm going to do a Let's Play on the channel of This War of Mine. Basically, this game is a survival game. You're in a war, and you have three people. At least what I've played, you have three people you have to try to survive with, you have to stay alive and scavenge every night and find food and try not to die and you have to survive for a certain amount of days I don't know how many days each character has a different amount of days you have to survive and you just have to make it to the end without getting your characters killed or having them die from being injured or sickness or something like that or die from die from starving to death or they can end up leaving the group or end up committing suicide in this game so this game gets pretty deep so we're gonna get right into this we're gonna be doing this war of mine the classic mode I don't have any of the story I don't think I think the story you need DLC and I don't have any of the DLC so we're gonna be doing the war of mine it's basically like a sandbox mode kind of except it's um it has different characters as you see here it says another try because I tried a couple of times as you see here this these two guys up here I survived on one I beat one which we still gonna do again because I'm doing you know I'm gonna do it on the channel we're eventually gonna play those guys again and I tried with these guys up here and only made it 32 days before I freaking end up getting killed everything start going terribly wrong and everybody just start dying so yeah but we're gonna start over here at the end with cat what is that catcha Bruno and Pavo this is where we're gonna start with these three characters and we're gonna see if we can survive. So let's do this. Alright, day one guys. Day one of survival. That's thunder and stuff. Thunder and lightning. Alright, so here's the three characters we're gonna be start with. When the Civil War broke out, many people Thought it would only last for a couple of weeks. Eight. It's been years since government's military sur surrounded the rebel in the capital, cutting off the supply line. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and and shellings. Katja meets both Pavel and Bruno. For the war, she was she used to be a reporter. While Bruno had his own television cooking show, Pavo was the star of a local football team. Nice. Katja even interviewed him once. Now they meet in, in different circumstances. I can't even say that word. <laughs> Looking for food and shelter. Alright, basically, we have a little time up there. And we have to... 
you basically scavenge this area of the house. The, um, this house has a lot of stuff. If you see with the hand sign right here, these hands means you can scavenge in them. If you see these little rubble piles, this means there's rubble in the way that you have to clear out, but they takes forever to clear. All right, let's use our character so we can do this more efficiently. All right, here's some stuff in here. We got some herbs, some lock picks, components, sugar, water, and wood. So let's collect those. All right, you can start. No, you can collect that. You, we got to do this a little bit faster. I'm going slow because we only have a certain amount of time. Once it gets to eight o'clock is when we have to go scavenge. So if we don't get stuff done. We need to get stuff done now. Ooh, we got some food. We got some more wood. First thing I want to do is build a workshop. I want to build a workshop so I can create a tool, a crowbar, so I don't have to use lockpicks because if you use lockpicks on certain doors like these ones right here that has the little guy and a lockpick icon, hold on, right here, if you can see that part moving, that if you use lockpick, lockpicks only one time use and they disappear, but if I you create a crowbar, which I need them at the workshop, we'll just put it right next to it right there, if I um, use a crowbar, it doesn't go away I can use it multiple times and you also can use it as a weapon this game is very dangerous at night you could get end up having a great game and it only takes one night for your everything to go to crap like what who says a joker it only takes one bad day <laughs> only one bad day and everything goes crazy literally people start getting upset that your person has been killed oops no you don't you stay down there you open that door you build a cr uh, crowbar which we need components for 10 components certain characters have different abilities that allows them to be more efficient at stuff Bruno oh he's actually kinda sick too he's a good cook so when I use when I cook food, I don't have to use as much fuel and water to, you know, make food. So I always want to cook with this guy. He's a smoker. And since he's a smoker, if I could get cigarettes and stuff like that, I can keep him more calm when he's sad because he's a smoker. He, he, he likes the cigarettes. And Kacha, she's one of my favorite characters in this game. She uses a bargaining skill. She's good at trading. And you definitely want her on your team because trading you can that you can get like seems like a horrible deal with other characters when you try to trade stuff, but with her, you can get really good deals with this character. So you definitely want to keep her alive as much as possible and basically cater to her. Her and the cook you want to cater to make sure you keep them alive. Also, she's a coffee drinker, so coffee will calm her down. You open this door because our medical supplies is on that side. We know we don't have any, but it's on that side near across this door. We're gonna need it in the future. You can go here. Okay, we got a crowbar. I want to build a shovel as well so we can get through all this dang rubble. Katya, I want you to go upstairs and start working on that. You, Pavel, or yeah, Pavel, you start working on this until the shovel is done. We have one food. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some stuff going. Hopefully, I can stay alive and survive longer. I haven't did a let's play of it, just playing personal. Hopefully, I don't mess up while I'm trying to do let's plays and talking. Cause I, I, when I first tried this, I didn't survive. Not even to the tenth day, I got killed. All my characters and and they got so sad they got depressed and broken one person committed suicide another person left and when a character get broken it goes sad depressed I think there's something else before broken but once they get broken your character will not move at all no matter what you click and tell them it won't move you have to other you have to use other characters to cater to that character you have to talk to them bring them food bring them medicines because they won't do it themselves they'll just lay on the floor crying <laughs> until they get unbroken and it's hard to get them from unbroken because they won't do anything you have to try to keep talking to them and baby him a little bit are right, you open this door no 
Wrong character. You do that. Okay, he's using a shovel now. Nice. Okay, open this. Because we need to hurry up. We've been slacking. Well, I've been talking. Okay, nice. You got that open. Kacha. Or, not Kacha. Yeah, Kacha. Open this. Try to get all these doors open so we don't have to waste any lock picks. Lock picks. You really want to use lock picks when you're sneaking around because the crowbar makes a lot of noise. There's a noise system, which I'll talk about more once I start scavenging. But crowbar makes a lot of noise and lock picks really doesn't. So you can take lock picks with you to steal stuff if you want to steal. But there's some, there's some consequences to steal. You only steal if you really have to and you don't have anything you need and you see it and it's someone else's. You have to take it. You, you do it, but... Sometimes it has some bad consequences on your character that you will have to deal with. If you're not equipped to deal with it, you can get out of control really quickly. Let's open this up. Uh, you open this up. You clear this out the way. There we go. Uh, let's wait till the crowbar is done. At, at each each character's inventory is together. They have a combined inventory, so so the crowbar just automatically switches to that character when they need to use it. It's not you don't have to give it to that person. All right, we got some books. Books help. They'll start reading that when they're starting to get a little sad. Keep them their mind occupied. All right, that's open. Open this. Ooh, we got some gems. These we can use for trading, and we can get some good stuff. I'm gonna use it with Katja because she's the awesome trader. You go open this. Um, ooh, we got bandages. Nice. We also have medicine over here. We also have some bandages. So if people get sick, like he is, I can give him some medicine to help him recover it. But when you're slightly sick, like he says, all you need is a bed, which you are going to build. We need a bed. We need two. So you're gonna build the bed. Uh, let's go up here somewhere. Build the bed up there. There we go. Place. You go build that. <clears throat> you come over here and get the stuff because we're running out of time. It's almost eight o'clock, and we're gonna have to do the thing. Go scavenging. And we ain't even got everything open. You start working on that. Eat. You guys can probably hear the timer clicking down because we're running out of time. Anything else I need to check and open up? I think that's it. It's just this stuff over here. Right, I guess you can sit down. I'm not going to be able to do everything. Wait, maybe. Come on, hurry up. Run. 8 o'clock is coming. Open it. I want to see what's in there. Now we're not going to make it. Damn it. All right. This is the scavenging part. We have three places to go. First, I want him to sleep in a bed because he's sick. When you're slightly sick, you can make them sleep in a bed and they'll recover. When they get sick is when it when you want to give them medicine so they can start healing. So, but if they're slightly sick or slightly wounded, you make them lay in a bed. Basically, slightly sick is just a cough or two here and there or something like that or a cut maybe. But when they get sick, sick, you have to give them medicine to make them sleep all day. And when they get slightly wounded same thing when they get heavily wounded or wounded you have to give them a bandage to keep them from dying because they'll get worse and worse until they just die and then when they die it makes other people sad and that can get worse and worse if you don't deal with that either and everything can just go apart go fall apart all right so we're gonna make him slay, lay in the bed as you see these backpacks here it says 10 in his backpack 12 that means how much they can hold so since he's a fast runner this is his ability he's a football player He's, fa he's the fastest character in the game. We're going to make him scavenge. We're going to keep her at home. She's going to guard the house because... Uh, yeah. No, we're going to make her sleep. If I remember right, the first day of the game, you don't get raided. People will raid your house. They'll end up wounding your characters and stealing all your stuff. So, you need people to guard and weapons to help with that. Since we have some weapons, but I think I'm going to need to take the weapons. So, we ain't going to have any weapons at home except their, those guns. I'm talking about his fists. <laughs> That's all they're going to have at home. All right. We can go to the abandoned cottage. Um, it's ruined villa. 
in his quiet house now the abandoned cottage a family barricaded themselves inside the house but there are uh, looters inside has been abandoned ever since still we might find some useful things that looters overlooked what about this one they say some people still live in there really I must have some supplies stuck there. but they don't want to trade I don't want to deal with people but I might have to quiet house right they said that sounds good to me housing estate that remains almost untouched it's a calm area a little house with and gardens all right it looks like we're gonna go here it looks like they have a lot of food uh, medicine and a part so let's go to this place we don't want to really want to encounter people right now we just want to leave them alone we're gonna take the crowbar just in case it's something that we need to open and a shovel and we can use these items as weapons if we need to crack some skulls <laughs> but I really don't want to fight anybody because people in this game they're the, the fighting mechanics are really difficult it's like chance based there's some wood all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop everything in this area right here so if we ever need to come back we don't need to go in the house anymore we just can we just come to the house and just grab stuff out of the grass uh they said there was no one in here they lied to me uh i, I hope we won't come back Okay. These people lied. Hold on. No. You don't see anything. <laughs> this guy. I thought it was empty. Okay. This is a bad day. I think we're going to have to leave. Can we talk to her? Are you looking for... What did he say? I didn't get to read it. Okay, old man. You are... You won't come back. <laughs> no! I need to take some stuff. What's a strange visitor? I wonder if I can give them anything. Or will they attack me? I don't want to steal from them. He is. If he attacks me, everything's going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> Please let it don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to find scraps. Are you going to kill us? No, I'm not going to kill you. Damn it, I can't get anything here. This is a this is a bad idea. I shouldn't have came to this place. Still has people in it. Ugh! I need something to loot. I can loot stuff. These things right here, if I loot it, it's called it's stealing and I, he would probably attack me if I do it. All right, this was a fail. We shouldn't have came here. We're gonna go to the other place next, next night. We shouldn't have came here. Let's take, nope. Let's take what's in here first. Which is really nothing. Let's see if we can get down here. If there's anything in here. It's just stealing stuff. Gosh. Why'd I come here? Alright, today was a bad night. Let's just leave. That was a fail. We shouldn't have came here. I don't want to steal because if I start stealing, my, my crew is going to get sad that I'm stealing from old people. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, they needed it more than us. And they're going to get sad and stuff can go bad. And everybody start getting sad. All right. That was stupid. We shouldn't have went there. I'm not going there again. Unless I need to steal some stuff. Stealing from old people. I, I don't know if I want to do that yet. <laughs> e word yet. All right. As you can see right here, it tells you what th their status is. Almost like the Sims. He is hungry and tired. So, I want him to sleep or eat something. He's not going to eat nothing right now because I'm going to wait till they're very hungry before I feed them. Because hungry has no negative effect, but very hungry does. It makes them run, walk slower. They won't run at all. You slept. She's just hungry. All right, you can get out the bed. 
Actually, you first. You're gonna make a stove. We definitely need a stove. We can't make any food if we don't have a stove. And we can't make a stove because we don't have freaking stuff. Did I check the thing? Let's please have some stuff so we can make a stove. Because the first night was horrible. Uh, I don't know why I went there. I should have just went to the first place. Nope. Okay, we definitely have to find parts because this is bad. I usually have a lot of stuff when I come back. <laughs> and actually, I never actually went to that first house before. I wanted to see it. Now I know Oops, you don't go there. Because there's old people living in there that's terrified and thought I was going to kill them and I wasn't. But I could have. I could have killed them. I had a crowbar. <sighs> okay, what can we build? What can we do? We can make a radio. We can make another bed. Might as well just make another bed. He's tired. And when we come, when we scavenge, we have to definitely scavenge next time. We're going to have to either steal something or we're going to have to scavenge because we need the stuff quickly. Because people can get hungry super fast and then super hungry and starving and just die. I don't want that. So you build that. You. There's nothing else to loot in here, is there? Damn it. Uh, we can build a chair, but we already have a chair. Let's actually. Yeah, let's just waste our last stuff on. Nah. Yeah, let's waste our last stuff on some filters. So when we get uh, a water, what's it called? A water filter, I guess? Yeah, water filter. We can use our filters to drain, <laughs> to filter the water. I, I, I said like filter like 50 times. What is it called? Wa rain collector, there we go. When we get a rain collector, we need the filters to filter the rain water, which you don't really need to filter rain water because rain water is already Kind of basically filtered, it's evaporated water. Nothing in it. No it's pesticides in it, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Is no stuff swimming in it. Unless it comes out. Well, it is coming probably from the gutters, but even then, I don't think nothing that dangerous are in, the, in your gutters, is there? I don't know. I don't drink rainwater unless I'm outside with my mouth open. Alright, since we had a horrible night, you. I actually have to wait for him to actually sleep because I need him to be well rested. No, you go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. And you can just sit down for now. I'm gonna keep him in bed because he needs to recover. I don't want him getting sick when we only have one pill bottle. And I need him to be well rested because I don't want him tired while we're out but I can't make them I can't go out tired tired doesn't really have a negative effect it's when you get very tired and they just stop walking or they start walking and not running anymore and that's bad for him when he's like the fastest character I'll see you guys when he is not tired anymore all right Pavo is no longer sleepy yeah he just wakes up and get up he's no longer sleepy so we're gonna head out and scavenge we're going to that first place we looked at the abandoned place it's called abandoned maybe i should have just went to it <laughs> so we're gonna go there let's end the day we need some stuff and we need it now it's my money and i need it now yeah abandoned cottage we're going here we're gonna take the shovel uh she can sleep no he's gonna stay sleeping in the bed because he's still slightly sick she's he's gonna scavenge she's gonna guard the house we need to find stuff to build a stove because if we don't we're gonna eat raw meat and raw meat doesn't really fill you up I don't think I think you have to eat like multiple of it when if you if I just cook something it will fill, fill us up one notch it'll go from very hungry to hungry we want to take the crowbar which we could have stole a lot of stuff with that crowbar I saw a lot of icons at that old people house you know what old people I might come back for you guys I might just come back for you all right, we're gonna go scavenge. It says it's abandoned. It said people, I think, used to live here, but it's abandoned now. Okay, that was stupid. Let's look in here. Don't run. But when you run, it makes a lot of noise. As you see when I walk, or not when I walk, but when I run, you see those circles. If people hear that, they also like, what? What is that? Just like you know, Metal Gear. Like, 
and the sound comes goes off and then dun 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 dun, dun. yeah that happens and they start chasing me with guns and stuff and same place Pavo yeah that kind of thing happens <laughs> alright let's collect all this stuff and we're gonna bring it to the front unless I scavenged it which I didn't mean to do if I did probably shouldn't have did that let me see if it's still here yes okay it's still here let's put all the stuff in this area we're gonna put all the items here so when we need to come back and get exactly what we need we can just come back here and grab it but I don't think anyone's here if you see like red circles that means it's a noise in that area and if it's noise in the area it means something's in that area basically <laughs> either a person a rat or something's just making noise like a window or something you gotta be careful because that means something's there that could be dangerous you don't want to just bust through a door and a freaking guy with a freaking shotgun or AK-47 aiming at you ooh we found some cigarettes what we definitely need for what's the name no, I did not tell you to go up there. What are you doing? Well, might as well go up there. Open this door. Open it up. So I don't I can just run through the door. Don't have to go in the basement every time. There you go. I'll put everything back in this thing. Gonna be our little treasure chest. Oops. Drop everything in there. Except our tools that we need. Check this. We really want a lot of components and wood, so that's basically what we're gonna be taking back. Unless there's some food, which I think is food in here, because there's a refrigerator, so I'm hoping it's food in here. It's a lot of food in here. It's four pieces of meat, some freaking what is this? Vegetables, herbs, sugar. Sugar you don't actually eat, you make um moonshine with out uh, with the sugar sugar and water you can make some moonshine and you can sell the moonshine to uh it's an easy way to make a lot of moonshine and sell it for stuff you need basically like the wood and all the other crap that you might need but you also can drink it when your person's depressed you get drunk and it, it, it can help but it also could make your character all drunk and he's just walking around and I think he's doing stuff slowly. I never really let my characters get drunk. I did it once or twice, but I, after that, I usually either <laughs> committed suicide or freaking left the thing. So I, I don't know if drunk actually helps or not, but I made him get drunk. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want to get drunk, but we probably do it maybe once or twice in these games. I know this is um, time consuming, but we're not going to do this in every place because some places is just not going to be empty and it, you're just going to have to sneak around and we ain't going to have time to come back here. Only abandoned places is where I'm going to be doing stuff like this, bringing everything to the front so it's something easy to grab when I need something and I don't want to go any place dangerous. So that's basically I'm just setting setting this area up for uh, what's the name? I'm glad I brought the shovel. If you don't take the shovel, this takes at least three hours in game, and you can see how slow the time goes. Now imagine waiting three hours for him to like dig it up. I'll say two hours. I'm probably over exaggerating, but still, two hours is a long time in this game. Two to three hours. They trying to open, clear out rubble. If you don't have a crowbar, I mean a crowbar, a shovel. You see there's some noise up there, but I think it's just a rat up there. Oh, a, a really good cigarette. We have some medicine, another diamond, which we can use to trade. Kacha would definitely like that. And some bullets. Let's go put this. No, come back. Let's go put this in our little trigger box. Here. Drop, drop. Oops, I didn't want to put my crowbar. Give me my crowbar back. We need that. Oh, what's this on the wall? My family photo, a family photo of parents and their two daughters. Good thing the girl doesn't resemble their father. He looks like a bear. What the hell? And it's messed up, Pavel. 
on the first day they robbed us two days later they murdered our girls what I shot every one of them but I don't want to use the gun anymore it's broken and buried in the backyard next the uh, next part looks shaky uh, if you well, if you are re reading this don't look for me I ain't looking for you you're going crazy he killed everybody and they killed his daughters that sucks we just read a we just looked at a photo of him talking about his daughters and it and now apparently they're dead the robbers came and killed them is he in here did he barricade himself in here to just die alone in sadness I don't know, it don't look like he's in here but looks like he got some stuff some weapon parts more cigarettes. Dang, this guy got a lot of cigarettes. I'm grateful for all these cigarettes. Let's go find that gun. We're definitely taking the gun parts. We're well, we're not going to take the What's this? Oh, this is where the gun is at. This is the backyard. I thought this was the front yard. Yeah, there's a gun. Let's put everything in here. We don't really need a gun right now. We don't have anything to make bullets and stuff. Uh, damn it, I dropped the crowbar again. Right, we want to get out of here before 5 o'clock. If you don't leave before 5 o'clock, you will be stuck out here. And when you get back, you have a chance of being wounded or extremely tired because you can end up getting shot. There's snipers out there looking to snipe people. They're trying to quick scope and drop shot and ladder stall everybody. These snipers, man. Well, you don't want to be out before five o'clock because your character will come home late. So all the stuff you gathered, if you really, really needed it, they will, will they'll come like halfway throughout the day back to the to your house. So if you needed like food and somebody really needed it and they die, hey, should have thought of that before. It looks like we cleaned this place out. Yeah, it looks like we cleaned it out. Let's put the rest of the stuff. Let's get the gun to rest of the stuff in our little treasure chest and take what we need right now. Put this in here and grab that last part of the gun because that last part of the gun is the main piece. These are just parts for the gun that we actually need. Well, I saw some medicine. We're definitely going to take that. Let's take the important stuff. Um, grab that. Alright. Alright. Gun is not important when we need to go. It's almost 5 o'clock. So. Cigarettes not important right now. Nobody's sad. Food, definitely this definitely and we're just gonna take four of those and four woods so we can build some stuff we need to build a stove we're gonna come back here at least three more times because we need to we need to collect all this stuff and bring it home